I think you would know if you were in a helicopter that was actually hit by a missile. So I don't think he <laughs> didn't remember that. I think he fabricated that story, I, and the yeah. apology seemed a little oddly uh, well, I'm gonna circuitous. Be, go ahead, baby. Well, I was going to read one of the soldiers that, I mean, this really erupted on social media, and I, you guys are always talking about the power of social media. The soldiers that were there really brought this to uh, the nation's attention and Brian's, but one of them said what you just said, getting hit by RPG fire is not something you oopsie get confused over or conflate because it was 12 years ago, dude. Exactly. It's exactly dude. the way you're making it. It's a blatant lie. It's well, like a lie. It's a I Lance Armstrong lie. No, it's not oh. a Lance Armstrong. No, no, no. It's not a Lance I was Armstrong. in a no. helicopter that was hit yeah. by an RPG. Well, here's, here's how that could happen, and I'm just saying. Okay, so now he says, you know, three, uh, when he first told the story, he told the story as it happened. And every time he told it again, it got more exciting. He was more this, it was more that. And by the time he was finished, he was on the helicopter. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. You know, I, I can you I, trust I, anything he says. He's like, you know, I, I think that's the plot to Forrest Gump. Was that you know? really you, Brian? People, I mean, people forget themselves. They forget all wrapped up in their story. And sometimes, you know, what is the word? Not uh, lying. They, Embellishing. No, it's not. Embellishing. It's not. <laughs>